to day three of Christmas in Lillaland. Oh, it's looking fabulous. Today I'm very excited because I am finally filming a Christmas haul and I know you're excited as well because I've already had lots of comments saying you can't wait for my Christmas hauls. So here it is. This is not everything that I have been buying recently, but you can't see that because you're going to have to just wait until after the big day, aren't you? <laughs> I'm so excited. We're so nearly there. I've waited all flipping year for this. <laughs> right, let's dive in. Okay, so first, I'm going decorations because these I'm just too excited about. So I have got some gorgeous gold tinsel um our theme this year is very pink with gold silvers iridescence kind of deal so we've got the gorgeous this is super long i think this is three meters worth of gold i've also got the same in this gorgeous pink color which is right up my street i mean come on oh god just how fabulous is tinsel i mean these are my absolute favorites Look at that! It's so cool. Look at that. This is just the most pretty, beautiful tinsel I've ever seen in my entire life. And oh my god, how gorgeous with these lights. Um, so this is just iridescent, rainbowy kind of tinsel from our, I wouldn't say local, because it's quite a trek, but a garden centre near us, Gordon Rig, which has the best Christmas display ever. If you watch our Halloween vlogs, it's where Charlotte and I always go to get our massive pumpkins. Um, so yeah, they have the best Christmas section ever. So that, that's from that. Then we've got another set of iridescent tinsel, but this is a slightly different texture. I feel like this is more your traditional tinsel texture, um, whereas the others have kind of got lots of different things coming off it. Ooh. Then... If you think the iridescent tinsel is fancy, wait till you see this. Just wait till you see this. <sighs> Picture the scene. We go to the garden centre. We walk around the corner into a room and me and Charlotte both just stop and gasp because the room is full of the iridescent tinsel. And these! <gasps> just look! Oh, I've got a pink feather boa for me trees. So we got two of those. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Okay, then we're on to baubles and hangy shizzle. Go with our pink theme. We've obviously got this lovely stuff. Everything's stuck on each other. We've got this beautiful metallic shimmer brush, brush, blush pink star situation. Oh no, I've broken it already. Oh, oh it's looking a bit precarious at the bottom. Uh, might have to be one of those Christmases where the star gets sellotaped to the top of the tree. These, I think, are my favourite baubles, but don't tell the others. And you'll see why. Just what a great texture. Like, I'm really into textures, apparently, this year. Everything that I've found, I'm like, oh, that's a good texture. Oh, that's a nice texture. Oh, it's like a pink snowball. I mean, come on. It's, oh, it's just beautiful. And look at it when it catches the light. So shimmery. I can't wait. I also got four of these, which I just think are so chic and beautiful. Like the pearlized, very pale pink. Then I also got four of these um, coppery ones to go with. They are just beautiful. And again, they're really nicely textured. This kind of go in and out. Almost like an orange with its segments. Just, I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. Absolutely gorgeous. I love blush pink, copper, grey, anything like that. So yeah, I got it. I also got four of these absolute beauties. Just look at the detail on that. They are absolutely gorgeous. So again, the pinky tones, but these are a bit deeper and they've got the gold glitter patterns on them as well i mean how can you not love christmas you get you, you it's like it's it's sort of a um what's the word it's sort of compulsory to decorate your house in shiny sparkly things i don't understand why people have a problem with christmas also for a, another um addition to the pink tones got this one which is more of a berry i think um again with the gold glittery details on four of them what else did we get Ooh, we also got four of these little fellas, which again are the coppery, um, bronzy glitter with the white texture underneath. Gorgeous, gorgeous. They're really like, they're very simple, but really effective when they catch the light as well. Have I done these? No, I haven't done these. We also got four of these, which 
I don't know if you can pick up uh, the kind of blush pink again, but then they've got a darker pink detail on them, which is wonderful. So that's that for those decorations. But then I also went in the range and got these. If you haven't been in the range or you haven't looked on their website at their Christmas section, please do because they have upped their game so much this year. They've got so many beautiful themes for Christmas. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are um, four of the Mercury baubles. Let's get one out. Which are just absolutely gorgeous. So they've got that kind of Mercury finish to them um but just super shiny and super reflective to reflect all of the pretty light oh my god oh my god i also got four of these which are absolutely perfect to go with the tinsel and it's the same kind of texture inside of the iridescent bits inside and exactly the same texture as the tinsel so i'm super happy <laughs> because oh my god look how cute they are they're like little bells a cute little cutout and a little bow on the top and a little leather strap there i just think they're absolutely gorgeous and that lovely pinky coppery shift to them as well so i've got four of those <laughs> Leonard's just looking at me like what are you doing <laughs> Oh, these are so cute. So Charlotte loves ballet and was um, an avid dancer before she got poorly. So she chose to go on the tree. Um, some beautiful ballet point shoes there. So they're going to go on the tree as well. Oh my God, these are such a cute idea as well. So I've got three of these cute little photo frames. And I don't know whether I'm going to keep these photos in them or replace it with photos of us. But even the photos are just so cute. Oh, it's falling. So yeah, I've got three of those. Okay, then every new year we have a mocktail party um, and it's just become a proper event now. As our Just us family, my mum usually comes, it's usually me, the girls, Paul and my mum. We have a mocktail party, the girls come up with a menu, we make cocktails, we get the proper cocktail shaker out. It's just, such, it's just fun. We just have a fun night in on New Year's Eve. So I went and got some of these photo booth props um just with new year ones so we've got the top hat mustache lips happy new year you've got a little one that you can write your own message on there's glasses and then these there are two um award ones so we've got the award for most glamorous goes to but then you've got this one which you can kind of make your own up so it says the award for and there's a blank space goes to and there's a blank space so yeah early thought early thought cannot wait i also just in case there are too many lights you know, and it dazzles the reindeer. I also got him. How cute is he? So he's going to live outside and it says Santa stop here. So he's going to live in the garden. Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, this is so cute as well. Look at this. A little sign to go on the wall that says he's making a list and checking it twice. Only you right in there. More days to prove you are nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So that's going to go on the wall somewhere. Oh, possibly there. Actually, it's a bit of an open space there. So I think I might put him there. I look thought. And then the last thing in this bag. You should all know by now that I do this on Christmas Eve because I told you last year. But also because you've been buying your very own version of it. So this this year is going to be our Christmas Eve box, um, which is going to be filled with lots of goodies. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a Christmas Eve box is something I do every year. And I get a box and I fill it with goodies and there's only me that knows what's in it. And it goes under the tree or by the tree if you've got a dog that will just rummage through it like I have. Um, and it's full of Christmassy things to do on Christmas Eve. So it's Christmas pyjamas, snacks, um, things to bake, things to watch, DVDs, um, oh god, all sorts, games, whatever you can fit in, sweets, um, all sorts of things, activities, things to do, things to wear. Um, and I've actually uh, I've got our very own Christmas Eve box for sale on my Etsy shop. It will The closing date will have gone by the time this video goes out, but thank you if you have bought it. I'm very excited to get it to you. Um, so yeah, this goes under the tree throughout December. And on Christmas Eve morning, 
the kids can open it they spend the whole month trying to guess what's in it and um there are a few things there are a couple of things that are the same every year because if i don't include them they will move out um but there are lots of surprises in there and you can go and add to it and things and it's just really cute so on christmas day the kids get something something to open and it's just really exciting um and we spend the whole day doing the activities and just spending time together getting excited for christmas day coming it's just a cute thing to do so this is going to be the christmas eve box this year that i'm uh, gonna go and fill with lots of goodies okay next from b and I think this, these were, <laughs> are these Santa hat table covers? No, they're not. Santa hat chair covers. You put them over the back of your chair and it's like your chair, chairs have got Santa hats on. <laughs> I mean, so. just, they're just cute. Come on. Come on, they're cute. I also got this cute little thing. Um, it's sort of felt looking like, so I, I might not do you very well at getting this out of here i might have to instruct the children or paul um but this is a sparkly sort of snow effect thing that i think is going to go around the fireplace and just look all snowy and beautiful and magical <laughs> here we go large glitter snow icicle there we go and then to go with this snowy scene on the fireplace i've gone and got this iridescent glitter no, the fake snow. Um, yeah, very excited. Can't wait to be cleaning that up when the dog and the cats walk it all around the house. Mm -hmm. Right, so less Christmas decorations, I think. I think. Um, and more just Primark shopping. Right, what did I get from Primark? Oh, hang on, hang on. One more from B&M is this rainbow cake. I want to say cake tin, but it's not a tin. It's a silicon one. Cake mould. There we go. Rainbow cake mould. And that is very important and you will be finding out why in the new year right don's primark i got um right some more of these here velvet leggings because little miss rubbish knees over here cannot stand it in in the cold weather and my knees are killing so i am all about the velvet fluffy thermal leggings layers keep my legs warm otherwise they are so painful so i got some more of these I got some of the Primark's Christmas decorations. They're so bloody cute at the moment. I got some of these cute little ho 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 napkins, which will look super cute on the table with the little chair covers on. Are you still with me? If you're still with me by this point, well done. Well done. Okay. <laughs> is that not just me at Christmas? <laughs> this is just me. Honestly, I identify with Buddy the Elf so much. <laughs> Christmas idiot. Um, so yeah, I've got this one. OMG, Santa, Santa's coming. I know him. Um, if you've not seen Elf and you don't know what that line's about, please just go and get make yourself a hot drink. Go and get on Netflix and just watch it because it's honestly the funniest, cutest, most adorable Christmas film you'll ever ever see. It's hilarious, absolutely hilarious. So yeah, I got that one from Pramani. Oh, she got herself some leopardy print gym pants as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got more tinsel, didn't I? <laughs> so we've got the coppery rose gold day. Sort of like a dark rose gold, like copper. Two meters worth of, yeah, two meters. So I've got one, two, three, four of those. And they are going to, you know in my bedroom where I've got the string lights that come down? These are gonna hang in the string lights. And look all gorgeous, look all gorgeous. Ooh, and then I bought um lovely matching sports top to go with my leggings polar gym don't worry gym for all gym goers i will be wearing a t-shirt over that nobody panic <gasps> oh yeah speaking of t-shirts oh look how cute this is how cute is that so i've got this one which says llama drama and underneath it says i ate all the mince pies and it's a llama getting his mug shot in his santa hat looking looking like he's got no regrets whatsoever and to be fair if you do eat all the mince pies i expect you to have no regrets whatsoever you just own that mince pie eating it's christmas do what you want tell them Layla said so so yeah also that is a tall llama that's six foot eight and he's still above that i know he's got a hat on but that's his ears that go up there too my word tall llama then i got some of these I love lint rollers. I live with a dog. I live with two cats. I live with teenagers. Trust me, you need a lint roller in your life. You really do. Oh, apparently I went a bit nuts on home fragrance as well. 
Because again, I live with a dog and two cats and two teenagers, so I like my house to smell nice. I mean, come on. So I've got these two. This you will have seen me get a million times before. This is my favourite Primark scent. This is the Vintage Blossom Lily and Honeysuckle. I love this so much. I had one of the big big candles with the lid on it in this as well and that was just my favorite i think i've bought millions of those so i went and stocked up on another pack of those and then i got these which are alpine forest love it which i love and they're in that beautiful like forest green do you know what i mean that really nice like rich looking deep green elixir elixir yeah that's gonna smell all christmasy and i'm gonna have my decorations up and everything and it's just gonna be wonderful and santa's coming Sticking with hot fragrance, I got some reed diffusers that didn't go very well, did it? Um, so I got Madagascan vanilla, which is vanilla and patchouli. Beautiful. This says lasts up to four weeks. So they're good to just dot around, aren't they? That was a pound. I mean, come on. Four weeks of fragrance around your house for a pound. Where are you gonna where are you gonna find that? And then this one, Pearl Grey, this is another of my favourites. This is pomegranate and fig. Just smells beautiful. So I got that as well. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I think, was this the one that was a bit more expensive? This one, she spent coin. This one was £1.50. I know, we paid extra for some embossed packaging. Um, this one is Neroli and Linden Blossom. And my God, this one smells beautiful. Love it. Love it. Don't know if I've mentioned, I do like to be slightly extra at Christmas. Only, only at Christmas, obviously. I'm just sensible and boring the rest of the time. Not extra all year or anything. <laughs> so I bought, um, I bought some earrings. <laughs> Look at this, so cute. So we've got the iridescent little snowflakes. Iridescent is a theme. I might call it the iridescent hall. What do you reckon? Um, so we've got these little cute little snowflakes. And then, I mean, are these not just Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day earrings? Earrings with three fully gift wrapped presents on them. Ah! Sticking with ears. I mean, sorry, what? Just so cute! I don't think I've had earmuffs since about 1988, and oh my god, they're adorable. There was no way I wasn't buying these when I saw these. How many pennies were these? These were three pounds and they're so cute. And what I like about them is the band doesn't grip around my head because they give me a headache when they do that. Possibly like I'm giving you a headache, but there we go. I do it with love. <laughs> right, I can't go in Primark without buying any makeup, can I? So there we go. So the first thing I got was this Raspberry Punch Lip Scrub, which just looks gorgeous. So I've never used a lip scrub, but they do look very intriguing. There's no way I'm paying like 30 quid for one not happening so this one was three pounds which i think is is a lot more doable i mean let's face it you can go and make your own out of some baby oil and sugar i don't need to be paying 30 quid for a, a lip scrub thank you very much so yeah i can't wait to try that it just sounds gorgeous doesn't it raspberry punch and then i got this beautiful glitter eyeshadow palette i mean it's the winter oh sparkle and wish it's the winter wonderland range um, and it's got 18 glittery, sparkly eyeshadows. They look like they're the creams, the eye creams. Yeah, glitter eye creams, gorgeous. They would be good either on their own or as a topper, just to make them stand out a bit more. But oh my God, I just, you can't go wrong, can you really? It's two quid, it's two quid. Then I went and got the Fearless eyeshadow palette because one leopard, I am obsessed, I do leak up. Who was it recently? I think it was Khloe Kardashian posted um, a photo on Instagram in a nude, uh, a nude, in a leopard print outfit, and the caption was something like "Leopard is my nude," and I was like, "Yes, that I can get behind." So this caught my magpie eye, but then look at that! It just looks gorgeous. So in there we have got oh, it says on the inside as well, "She who dares wins," which is just bloody brilliant. Oh, it's a face and eye palette as well. Oh, I did wonder why this one was huge. So that, I presume, is contour, bronzer type of deal. And we've got the eye colours and highlight as well. Loving that. Then, I have been looking for one of these boxes for ages that doesn't cost 80 quid. The only ones I can find literally are like 60 to 80 quid. And there's no way I'm spending that much on one because I just don't need to. And then, my Primark does not let me down ever. This huge storage box 
absolutely ruddy massive um, that I'm going to store makeup, etc. in. Rose gold, copper, looks brilliant, glittery, £22. It is huge, absolutely huge. It's one of the ones that opens out and you've got all the different compartments in the lid and then the box as well. So yeah, that, such good storage, £22. You know I'm going to be going and stocking up on those because... One, I like all my little bits all over the place, but also I like things to be organised and look neat and have, have a little place and be organised and just wonderful. Right, speaking of cute, I have left my favourite thing for last. Where do you see these? Just had to go in my basket. Look at those! I went upstairs. Um, I'm going to be a great auntie in January. My nephew and his girlfriend are having a baby, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I went upstairs to have a look for some baby things for them and um, spotted these in the kids section. Just look how cute they are! Full on glitter trainers, but with the Tinkerbell style pom pom. I mean, and the pink on the inside. These were literally made for me, pink, grey and sparkly. I can't wait to wear these. <laughs> right, is that it? I think that's it. That is everything! We did it! Right, that is my first Christmas haul of 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go and give me a big thumbs up. Let me know which one was your favourite in the comments. Let me know what you are going for as a theme with your decorations this year. I'm very excited. I love seeing other people's decorations, so tag me in any photos on Instagram as well. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you've pressed the notification bell. Leave me a comment and come and say hello. Have a great day, whatever it is you're doing for the rest of today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!